Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about an amazing open source framework for augmenting humans using AI, which is the Fabric. Fabric is an open source framework created to enable the users to granularly apply AI to their everyday challenges. It provides a set of patterns which are the individual use cases for doing specific things with AI. So in order to use it, you simply have to define your problem and then select a pattern from the list of patterns which have already been installed in the fabric and then your task will be done in just a matter of few seconds. Let's go ahead and see how you can actually install Fabric AI. So I've created a new folder and I'm going to open the terminal inside the folder in which I'm going to clone the GitHub repo for the Fabric AI. So here is the GitHub repository. This is the link and these are all the files and all the folders which are present inside this repository. So you simply have to clone this repository and in order to do that, simply click on the code button right here and copy the URL which is present. Now, head back to your terminal and inside the terminal, you have to run the command git clone and paste the URL which you have just copied. Hit enter and you will see that it will start cloning into a fabric and once the cloning is completed, head back to your folder and you will see now a new folder by the name fabric has been created. If you go inside the folder, it has all the files and folders which were present in the github repo. So now I'm gonna go inside this folder by using the command cd fabric and once I'm inside the fabric, I'm gonna run a set of commands here in the fabric directory. Head to the github repo, scroll down a little bit and you'll see quick start here it says that the most feature rich way to use the fabric is to use the fabric client but I'm gonna be using the CLI in this video. And here are the setting up steps. We have already done a few steps. Firstly, we have created a new folder. We have cloned the repository. And the, now the next thing is to install the pipx. And since I'm using the Linux operating system, I am going to be using this command sudo apt install pipx. So let's copy it, add back to the terminal, paste the command right here and hit enter. And once you do that, it will ask for your permission. Simply press Y and it will download and install pipx on your local machine. Once it is installed, now we are gonna head to the github repo once again to see the other steps. Now the next step is to install the fabric using the command pipex install dot. So I'm gonna copy it, head back to the terminal. I'm gonna paste the command inside my terminal and simply press enter. You will see that it will start creating the shared libraries, installing the packages and will configure everything in order to set up fabric on your local system. Okay, once you get the done message, this means that everything is done. Now you simply have to run this command in order to add it to your path. I'm gonna copy the command, paste it right here and I'm gonna hit the enter in order to run it. After that, you have to close the terminal in order to take the effect. Open a new terminal. Here, we are going to run the command fabric dash dash setup in order to set the API keys. Firstly, it will ask you to enter the OpenAI API key. Enter the key, hit enter. If you don't have it, also hit enter. If you have the cloud key, hit enter. Then apply the YouTube API key and after providing all the API keys, it will update the patterns and everything will be set up for you. Now let's see what steps are remaining. So we now have to restart the shell in order to reload everything. So I'm going to open the terminal and close it. And then I'm going to move towards the same directory where I have previously opened the terminal and I'm going to create a new terminal right there. And then I'm going to run the command fabric dash dash help in order to see if fabric is working fine. Yeah, everything is working fine. This means that we have successfully installed Fabric. In order to use Fabric on the CLI, we need to know about the Fabric terminology. So here in the GitHub repo, you can see that these are all the options available for the Fabric, which you can see by pressing Fabric hyphen H. Scroll down and here is the list of all the examples and all the cards that you can use. Then if we talk about the components, there are three main components for the Fabric ecosystem. First is the mill which is the server that makes the patterns available. Then patterns, which are the most important thing, are the actual granular AI use cases or the prompts which we will run. Stitches are chained together patterns that create the advanced functionalities. 
and then we have the looms which are the client side apps that call a specific pattern hosted by a mill so we'll be using patterns the most in order to test fabric and here they have also provided us an example of how you can use the fabric on the CLI but before using it I'm gonna head to my terminal and I'm gonna install the python poetry because it will be needed in order to run the fabric patterns so you will see that it will start installing the poetry and after a while everything will be set up and will be installed and configured so now I'm gonna clear my screen and I open a YouTube video of our channel here I will go to the transcript of the video I am going to click on show transcript, I am going to toggle the timestamp and then I am simply going to copy all of the transcript for this video. Once the transcript has been successfully copied, now I am going to use this transcript with a pattern provided by the fabric. So I want it to provide me the wisdom which is explained inside this video. So I am going to use the command pb paste which will actually paste all the transcript right here. Then I am going to use the pipe. Then fabric keyword and after that in order to define the pattern i am gonna use dash dash pattern which is the extract wisdom once you are happy with the command simply hit enter and wait for it to generate the response it will take some time because the video is very long and it will take time in order to extract the information from it so i'm gonna come back once this is done all right so the response is generated firstly it says that the video presents a comparison between three ai powered coding assistants these are the three coding assistants then it has provided us different ideas which have been presented by the creator in the video here is an heading displaying the insights which were discussed in the video there are some codes which the creator might have used the facts references and finally it has provided us the recommendations which the original creator has explained in the video so this pattern provided by fabric is an amazing tool for note taking because if you don't want to watch the entire video and make your notes by reviewing the video you can simply pass the transcript of the video to this flag and it will generate the note for you by providing it in different headings and if you are wondering that what is the prompt which actually ran behind this pattern then in order to view that head back to your browser where you have opened the github repo Inside the fabric github repo you have to go to the patterns folder inside the folder you have to browse to the pattern which you have used which in my case is extract wisdom so after finding your required folder you simply have to go inside it here you will see that there are two files I'm gonna firstly go inside the readme.md that provides all the description about the patterns along with the examples of how you can use them but if you want to see the actual prompt running then you have to go to the other file which is the system.md file inside which you have all the prompts and all the steps which were performed that generated this output for us now let's see another example but before that i'm gonna clear my screen all right so the fabric ai provides us a variety of patterns and one of them is the code explanation which will provide us explanation for the provided code so i'm gonna use this pattern in order to see how it works and for that i'm gonna use the command pb paste and after the fabric i'm gonna define the pattern to be explain code and the pb paste actually contains the code for a streamlit application in python and let's hit enter and see if it is able to provide us detailed explanation for our code or not all right so the response is generated and you can see that in the beginning it has provided us brief explanation that this script is a streamlit application designed to assist in dermatology diagnostic it uses the google's generative ai model which is the correct model to analyze the images uploaded by the user and generate response to identify the potential diseases based on the images and this explanation is absolutely correct because this is what is being done inside the provided code and it has also identified the correct model which i have used in the code then it is provided as imports and configurations the generate response function functionality the main function the script execution and it is also provided as the use of this application that this application serves as a tool for quickly obtaining the preliminary diagnostic for dermatological conditions from the images so this is really cool that in addition to providing detailed code explanation it is also provided us a use for our application so now i'm gonna test another pattern provided by the fabric for that i'm gonna firstly clear my screen all right so for this example i'm gonna use 
another pattern provided by the fabric which is called create visualization for that i am going to use the command pb paste fabric pattern create visualization and this is the pattern here is the data set which i am going to use in order to perform the visualizations and you have to remember that this pattern uses the ascii art in order to perform the visualization so you don't expect big pie charts and line charts and bar charts but it will simply provide you the basic visualization of the provided data hit enter and wait for it to generate the response all right so here is the response and you can see that it has converted our data and organized it into table and it has also provided us visual explanation that it created a table to organize the pet information the each row represents a unique pet with their respective details it used plus for corners dash for horizontal lines pi for vertical lines and so on so in this way it has provided us basic visualization for our data by organizing it into a table using the ascii art and then for the last example i am going to show you an amazing pattern provided by the fabric which is compare and contrast it is used to perform comparison between two topics or two objects which we will provide to it for that i am going to provide it the prompt that eco open ai in gemini and these are the two objects on which we want to perform the comparison and the rest of the command will be as it is where we have fabric pattern and the name of the pattern which is compare and contrast hit enter and let's wait for it to see if it generates a comparison for us or not all right so the response is generated and you can see that it has provided us different headings by providing the comparison between the open ai and gemini another amazing feature provided by fabric is that in addition to using the patterns individually you can use multiple patterns together by stitching them yes it is possible in fabric that you can use multiple patterns at once so now let's go ahead and see how you can do it so in order to stitch two patterns together we are going to use the same command which is echo open ai versus gemini fabric pattern compare and contrast and we want the output of this prompt to be the input for the next pattern so the first part of our prompt is going to be the same then for the second part i'm going to paste a pipe and then i'm going to provide the name of my second pattern which is the right essay so i want it to firstly compare and contrast open ai and gemini and then the output will be passed to the pattern which is the right essay which will write an essay on the topic which will be returned by compare and contrast hit enter and see how it provides us the essay all right so the essay has been generated the topic of the essay is the intersection of ai and cryptocurrency open ai and gemini and you can see that it has provide us a detailed essay covering all aspects of the two models by making a comparison between them on the basis of the features and also describing us that which one is the best let's quickly summarize the video in the beginning we saw how you can actually install fabric ai on your local system then after successfully installing it i showed you different components of the fabric and how you can use different patterns individually and i've also shown you how you can actually stitch multiple patterns together but these were a few patterns i'll highly encourage you to try all the patterns for yourself and let me know which one works for you the best that's all for this video thanks for watching